Welcome to Unmuted. We got esports, we got gaming, we got opinions, and apparently today on the show, we got the ladies. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I'm Lisa Dwan, filling in for Brody because apparently he can't handle the heat and he asked for a day off. But it's okay, because yeah. I'm here and we're going to have fun. That's right, Mama's here. Uh, <laughs> listen, I get that though, because Brody, I mean, we got a little heated. We didn't end up using the mute button as I had hoped. I watched the show back later. I'm like, damn it. I should have muted him like three times. It's okay. You have the option of muting me if you feel like I'm, you know, getting out of line. Mm -hmm. But you just keep your hand off, Lisa Dewan. Okay. All right. Off. Let's get to our first story because it features a bunch of cheaters getting banned at Apex Legends. How many cheaters, you ask? Try over 350,000. Apex developer Respawn Entertainment has committed to improving anti-cheat measures to catch more cheaters in the future. So how is there so many cheaters in this game that just came out like a month ago? Have you encountered cheaters at do you think this is a good move? Marissa, I've what? played like four games of this game. And you've and lost every single one yes. handedly. So I'm more likely to be the cheater. <laughs> Lisa, yeah. I can't. What? I didn't do it that you guys found me. I didn't do it. Listen, the game is really popular. There's yeah. like millions of players now, right? So yeah. isn't it, it just makes sense that there's going to be a lot of cheaters no. that want to make friends and be good at this game. No, no. The, cheaters don't make friends. Yes, they do. No, no. <laughs> cheaters never prosper. Don't you know that? Oh cheaters God. never prosper. Listen, this is what's going to happen to you. You're going to jump into a game. You're thinking you're amazing. You're godly because you're running it. I, I want to say running a train, but that's inappropriate. I can't say things like that. <laughs> I'm, I apologize. They just want to run a show in this game. And it's unfortunate because this is what's going to happen to them. You're going to play. You're going to think you're amazing. And then guess what? Respawn's going to come in and take it all away We're from set. you. So you got to start from the bottom again. I'm sorry. They don't this care. This is what happens when you cheat. They don't care that they're cheating. Listen, they're not these aren't pros that we're talking about here. These are just casual gamers. They want to get good. They want to they want the good stuff. No, but the, you're not going to get good if you're a cheater. You're not going to get good win. if you're cheating. Yeah. Okay, but winning is the most important thing, Marissa. <laughs> okay? That's just the bottom line here. Obviously, I'm not condoning cheating, but why are we surprised? We're not I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm you shouldn't be surprised. I am. I'm surprised there are that many cheaters. That's crazy to me. Like cheating, I mean in a freemium game to me would be just like paying for something in game yeah. that the developer kind of wants you to pay for anyway. Mm -hmm. Not actually going into your way to figure out cheats. Like I cheated in Sims when I played it back in the day and mm -hmm. I just to get more money so I could have an Hold on. We didn't it didn't it didn't we're gonna get into that later. <laughs> we didn't specify like what kind of cheats are they actually doing. Like do they just want to level up fast? Like maybe yeah. that's what it is and I get that you know and you want to get items, whatever. That's what they're doing. But if they're cheating literally to just win like you know hacks for like shooting yeah, games yeah. and all that stuff, yeah. that's I feel like that's not good. That's right. not the kind of good cheat. Not right, like no, of course, like the auto-targeting. I mean, we saw it obviously in CSGO in the pro scene over this past year. Like, yeah. there are some programs that you can make and some attachments that you can add to your current system. We know a lot about to, this. Well, listen, we cover eSports, okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes people cheat and sometimes they don't win and sometimes they get caught and get put on blast oh for the my. whole community to oh tear them down. God. And that's what's going to happen to you. Please stop being a cheater. <laughs> Nobody likes cheaters. Right. Yeah, I don't want to be a No! Don't, don't, don't do it! it. <laughs> Listen, I want to move on to a scene that I'm really into, League what? of Legends, because the host, Shox, look, she's been the face yeah. of the scene. She announced that she would be hosting the CSGO Blast Pro Series in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is the first CSGO event where Shox will appear on the desk after she worked in the ESL, I think, event last mm -hmm. year. So what do you think of Shox's moves? Yeah. It's kind of a big deal for her. Uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I kind of saw this coming because we see a lot of, I mean, even you and I, like we cover different esports. Yeah. Like we jump from scene to scene. We just like we to- We get around. Yeah, we get around. Like we, <laughs> it, it's fun because we get to meet all these different players from different communities. And that's the thing, like this replicates what happens in the sports world. Like mm -hmm. there are there are sideline reporters for certain games and they stay in their lane in that game. But yeah. I feel like with the talent pool that we have out there, especially with so many of these women in esports too, like we're seeing Frankie, Mm -hmm. Of course, like get Frank do it as well. Uh, she Just jumped from PUBG. Yeah. Frankie and Machine. Yeah. They were in the League of Legends. They were at the LEC. So like we're exactly. seeing this crossover a lot. Yeah, right? I love it. It makes me so happy. It makes me happy to see other communities embracing uh, community members mm -hmm. from other scenes. And also this means that Shox is bringing over her massive following from League of Legends. Like this this babe is a total queen. Wait, wait. Do you think it LEC? crosses over? Like does it cross over though? People who are interested well, in League honestly, of Legends, would they really care about CSGO? Honestly, why not? CSGO is one of the best esports ever created, and I think we can both agree on that. You love League of Legends, I know, but you can sit down and watch, like that major that just happened, yes. that was so freaking entertaining, like from start to finish, so good. They're, they're casters, they're analysts, amazing, they're hosts, fantastic. Like you've seen Machine on the Desk too. There's, 
it's it's time. It's time for more of these personalities to jump on board. Okay, Why let not? me bring up an issue here for some what? people that might have with this crossover. It's like, mm. so now that you're getting shocks to come host the yeah. CSGO desk, what about the hosts that work CSGO events? And like, they're the experts, but now they're kind of being pushed mm. out for someone who doesn't probably know the game as well as mm. they do. How is that fair in terms of merit? Now is it just okay. for eyeballs? And is that uh, a bad, you know, snowball that okay, we're going down? Okay, that's a very good point to bring up. Right. Because, uh, of course, you and I are just like, love, love, love. Yeah. This is amazing for the scenes and community. Yes, I get it. Like, But see, <laughs> when I think of it, when I take it all in and look at the overall perspective of it, does that not mean that those people hating on the situation are not haters? Mm. Like, are they not kind of hating on someone's progress? Yeah. Uh, or do you feel like they're really, I don't, because that just to me means that we're being territorial. And That's I don't want to be that way, especially as women. Like, it's very important for us to be open yeah. with other women coming on board. But so, should we, it should be to the best person, right, who does the job. Okay, well, now, now I need to go back and look at Smix's tweets to see if she's welcoming to the scene. You know what I mean? Because, like, I always looked at her as the, yeah, I mean, my producer telling us to move on because we're <laughs> not talking about this. <laughs> I get it, Tyler. We're moving on in just one second. <laughs> but I do, I do want to kind of just extend the hand. I feel like everyone one should do that. I'm sure Smix did the exact same thing with Frankie when she came yeah. on board in the CSGO scene. I just want more of it. So no love. hate, okay? Only love. Let's move on now. Tyler, I'm getting to it. Fortnite developer Epic Games revealed that it would be introducing an undo purchase button to the popular Battle Royale in the future. The <laughs> button would let Fortnite players refund a purchase made in the last five minutes. No questions asked. So do you think this is a good move? I mean, have you ever made an in-game purchase that you wish that you could have had refunded? Okay, first of all, I feel very attacked right now because they're looking at me. Okay, I love shopping. I love online <laughs> shopping, and I don't know if it's a surprise to anyone, but but I have never accidentally checked out or regretted a purchase. It makes me laugh that Fortnite, like, we're going to upgrade the game, and the thing we're going to implement is an undo button. Like, how yeah. often do you think people are, you know, buying things impulsively? Oh, my God, all that the time. That's have my do life. This. They're doing it for people like me. Seriously, they're doing it for people like Where's me. That? I have, no. <laughs> you, you out of anybody know that I have things in my closet right now that I'm just like, I can't, this isn't spark joy. Why do yes. I buy it? And then I just like, that's why I have to find other people. True just, story. Right? Melissa has come multiple times to me being like, <laughs> I went shopping and I bought this and it doesn't make me happy anymore. Do you want it? Like, yeah, all the time. This is what I'm saying. This is for, this option is for people like me, but also, also it is for parents who oh, have children who steal have, their credit cards right. and do a little shopping uh -huh. without their permission. Who have been making purchases. But the limit's only five minutes. Yeah, you're right, which I guess it's also like, okay, <laughs> I feel like this is epic being like, listen, we're doing this for you, but also maybe watch your kids. Huh? That's maybe, true. Maybe like make sure that your kids aren't doing something online without your permission. Uh, maybe one of those, like I don't, Hey, this is like Twitter. We want really, we really want Twitter to implement the edit button. Yes. This is like see, for, for this like starting it. Yeah. This is like why we don't care about your bun, but Twitter, get on this, please. We need this. <laughs> we need the edit function. No, I think uh, this is something that I'm sure a lot of parents are calling for. I'm sure. I mean. Uh, Especially in Fortnite, when you're jumping in, you're making these purchases. Like yeah. some of the skins, like, do, did I really need that? Like, did no. I actually? The answer is always no, guys. The skins answer is something you don't no. need, but you buy anyway. No, because kids are getting bullied while oh. they're playing. They are. They jump into a game if they don't have the latest skin or the latest emote. They're getting bullied from Lisa, other people online. Your kids. I see it happen. No, but we should stand up against it. We shouldn't give in. Thank you, and that's why that's why Epic is letting us kind of stand our ground for five minutes. All right, all right, let's move on. In other Fortnite news, several of the dance copyright lawsuits against Epic have been dismissed by the law firm behind them. This is because a new Supreme Court decision changed the law so that you can only file a copyright lawsuit if your copyright application has been accepted. The lawsuits will be refiled if and when the Copyright Office acts on the lawsuits. So what do you think of the development? Do you think the dances should be copyrighted? That's what everyone's been wondering, like, uh, since the beginning of this, all of this. Yeah, if I'm Soldier Boy or, like, <laughs> Alfonso, is it Alfonso Ribeiro? Yeah, Ribeiro. Um, Yeah, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Silver Spoon, the Carlton. Man, uh, Carlton. Yeah, if I'm those people, for sure. <laughs> Co copyright my dance, but uh, I have no love for Soldier Boy. Okay, whoa, so I don't whoa. No, 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 no. school, you didn't do the, you. No, now, I'm Soldier Boy's canceled as of now. He's oh. a lot of insidious stuff, especially in the gaming community. He just wants to like have clout here. No, <laughs> no more clout for Soldier Boy in this scene. I'm sorry, it's over for you. You canceled, but uh, no, I don't. And the thing is you can't copyright dance moves. Why not? And it's, it's an art. Why not? Okay, but then, but then over, 
over the span of time, how do you know that this move wasn't invented, you know, way back? Who, who knows who started this it's Carlton true. dance? It's who true. knows who really started it? We don't. And it wasn't copyrighted at the time when Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was out there and, mm -hmm. it, and everyone knew it was the Carlton dance. I'm sorry, it should have been copyrighted then. Then why do we but let people copyright names? You know, that's the totally word different. Why is it totally different? It, the name was probably used before in the past. Like, how do you copyright a name and not copyright a move that you made famous? I mean, like, I guess that's a very good point. What? I guess it's pretty I just needed you without actually using the button. <laughs> I'm like, I guess she has a good oh, point. She doesn't miss Doan. Maybe I won't mute her after all. <laughs> I thought you were actually going to just mute me just no. to like, stop talking. No, no, no. I, don't no. Be I'm, I won't. I won't mute you if you're, if you're right. It's true, but I guess just because that's the way the law goes, it's the way the cookie Where crumbles. Where is the protection for the dancers and the artists? Marissa, you should understand of all people. I have never made a dance move up that what I care to copyright. <laughs> if I did, maybe I would have more, I don't know, Maybe I'd have more anger about this whole thing. I don't really. I think it's really funny. I think this is a funny thing that we're all talking about. This is a funny thing that's in mainstream media. Yeah. Because we're seeing, I see it on my Twitter feed, like, this is breaking news. Alfonso Rivero can't copyright his dance move. Like, that's really funny. Oh. That's funny news. Right. You it's should, funny you news. patronize them. I know. All right. <laughs> all right. We'll see how that all goes. But the first, now we have another clip that we want to show and react to. Mm. So the first clip here doesn't really make an argument that chess is exciting. <laughs> uh, so let's, let's watch it. Okay. Or the chess moves on the board. Do you recognize the player? Because I can't tell from <laughs> the top of his head. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> so we have a... We have pro chess league history here. This I, I'm gonna I'm gonna venture a guess that this young man is gonna hear from his manager about this afterwards. Um, <laughs> because... <laughs> oh my! Um, All right. Yeah, he definitely heard from his manager. That was a pro chess league. That is a 50k prize pool. It wasn't just like casuals online playing chess like no there was a there was a prize pool like that was a real tournament okay but to, to be fair to him what? i believe that match wasn't his match it's not like he was playing and just like snooze while the other oh, player it, wasn't his match. it was he was spectating another match so oh. like you know, what else are you gonna do while you're just like downtime right <laughs> he's tired like chess is a very mentally exhausting game let him nap why are we gonna shame him like i actually feel bad for him <laughs> he looked like he was having a good sleep. um yeah you know? I mean, okay true but is it not disrespectful to the other players? Like, is he was he cheering for a certain team member? Like, what? Maybe he should have been paying attention. Maybe just to offer his support. So you tell me you never dozed off while like I was doing the news or like you know what I mean? Lisa, no, you disappear for a while. I, no, I pay attention to everything you do. Mm. <laughs> no, I uh, listen. It's it's just something that happens. We all have hard days. We need a snooze after a while. I get it. Like I don't want to give this kid a hard time. I'm sure he yeah. already got. It. I, I bet you his parents gave it to him. Like for sure. <laughs> for sure. Sleeping? Yes. I don't, honestly, no. Okay. Honestly, I see. I see chess parents as being very regimented. Chess parents. Seriously. Do you guys think? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Okay. I don't speak from experience. The second clip comes from Smash <laughs> Summit, where they played a fun game of Smash Family Feud. Naira, I pose to you the same question. Name an excuse for being late to pools. Top player privilege. Top player privilege. <laughs> Show me top player privilege. Oh, not today, son. Not today. All right. Stupid. Boy. That was like mic drop, bam, 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 all around. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, Nairo, listen, he's not wrong. Top player He's privilege. not wrong. Like, that answer wasn't on the board, but don't you think that is kind of a top I mean, player let's be real. Like, if, you know, a player is a big deal and they stroll in late, the organizer's going to stop and, like, wait for the guy. They're going to stop Which is horrible. Late. No, I know, but this is just, like, one of those things. Listen, um, like, A-list actors and movie stars, like, they run on their own schedule, and I feel like it's the same deal with professional athletes. It's the same deal And Marissa with these Roberto, boys. she strolls in late every day. Same deal. Speaking <laughs> of, I actually, this clip inspired me to actually <laughs> create my very own um what did you do relax <laughs> a, a, a um, top five reasons for why we're always late at uh squad <laughs> so <laughs> this is a true story okay so i got number five is traffic wait wait this is hold what? on this is birdie what? though what 
Okay. This is straight up Brody. I'm gonna pinpoint which one's okay, Brody. You'll okay. be able to tell which one's Brody. Okay, okay, okay. Number four is weather. We get a lot of crazy weather here sometimes, whether it's snow, <laughs> rain. Three is call time, question mark, question mark. The classic, oh, I didn't know we were starting at this time. Uh, <laughs> when it's the same every day. Um, number two, this is a good one, breakfast. I was busy getting breakfast. You know, we can't stop you from getting your hash brown or whatever. But number one, this is completely Brody inspired. My Uber got lost. <laughs> He literally True has story. to take an Uber, I swear to God, <laughs> for three vlogs from, from the train station to the studio, and his Uber gets lost. Uh, I mean, I feel like all of those are Brody, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, especially breakfast. Yeah. Well, Traffic, the top three. I feel like it's everybody. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like, like, this is reasonable, right? We've all been there, but the other three are kind of all Brody. So St straight up Brody salt. I love Inspired. it. Listen, and now, Lisa, it's time for an extra special treat for both you and me because we like the Twitters and we like sifting the tea and reading those profound thoughts. Pros sometimes drop. All right, so let's, uh, let's get the first one out there, mm, right? Okay. I got my cup of tea. <laughs> so I'm not sure how this is really profound, to be honest. Okay. But Peruvian Call of Duty Pro Player Saints tweeted me 10 minutes ago to me now. Hmm. <gasps> Um, mm, I'm not gonna say anything about this one. Uh, yeah, Lisa, I mean, why'd you pick this one? Uh, she picked this one. How do I explain this without my mother being upset with me? Uh, maybe uh, we should move on. Yeah, didn't think about this one. Listen, uh, I just kind of <laughs> love it that because listen, it's just one of those things that it is this thing that this would make your that would make guys, your eyes red hashtag is legal regret. It's it's legal in some countries. Oh God, regret. how do I? Look, Okay, I'm just gonna move on. The next tweet <laughs> is not from a pro gamer, but rather a DJ who a lot of pro gamers follow. Just indulge me here for a second, because Crate polls her audience with, would you rather have a dick as one of your arms or a dick as one of your legs? And um, you could respond with, dick, arm all day? Dick arm all day? Dick arm all day, no. Oh yeah, God. dick arm all day, or, Dig Dig like bitch. Bitch. <laughs> so, to which Call of Duty Pro, Jcap says, I have so many questions that would impact my decision, but off the top of my head, I'm going leg. Do you agree? This took a turn that I did not <laughs> expect. And you know what? Do you have an answer for this question? Do you have an answer? Did you vote? I no, I didn't vote. I you didn't. shouldn't practice your right to vote, Marissa. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't feel like it's one of those polls that was very important. Uh, it doesn't really apply to my everyday. Uh, and I also don't know what it's like. Uh, which is maybe why she was asking the question, because we don't know what it's like to have one, right? So, uh, would we want would we want one as an arm or want one Marissa. as a leg? I'm just gonna go with JCap, leg. Marissa, that's a mistake. Okay, listen, what? listen. I know we have a mature rating and everything, but yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say this without actually saying this. Okay. I think it's beneficial for us to have it as an arm, and I'm just gonna. What? Drop, I'm just gonna drop it there. Think about it, guys. Go home. Think about it. Leave the Duan! What? Okay, you know what? Think about it. All right, let's move on <laughs> to the last <laughs> profound thought of the day, and it goes to the GM of EU United, mm. EU Burns. He tweeted, uh, why are people throwing slices of cheese on their kids' face for social media likes? <laughs> Uh, what? I didn't even know this yeah. was a thing that was happening, to oh be honest. Oh my god, straight up, because I love that because I, I thought that every single time I'd watch a new video of some, a parent throwing one of those craft cheese slices <laughs> on their kid's face. Like, the, the babies are usually really excited to see mommy or daddy coming at them with like a slice of cheese. It's so exciting, but then they just toss it on their kids' faces. Wait, what are social media likes? Okay. I haven't seen any of these clips, so let me, let me ask you. Was it like a slap in the face, or no, is it it's like... like a, it's like a it's like a drop. Like they kind of just they kind of just like toss it on their face. Why? They're not like slapping them in the face with it, but it's like a like a drop on their face. What are the reactions usually from the kid? Just like, mm, no, it's, it's a, <laughs> the, the video always cuts out because the kid just kind of like reacts and then just like is there. They don't know what to do because there's cheese in their face. And people are liking this stuff. Okay. And more people are doing it. You know, people are doing it to the cats. Like, guys, I'm pretty sure this. I'm pretty sure this is abuse. Yeah. Can we can we say it's abuse? I, I don't know. It's a like cheesy abuse. Or is this abuse? just a really clever move by Kraft Singles to like promote their cheese? Oh my god! Calling it conspiracy. Ah, mm -hmm. this is like Illuminati type <laughs> biz. Listen, <Cheese. laughs> moving on. Uh, let's check out some user-generated content with crowd control. So Tetris 99 is really popular at the moment, but did you know that the pieces actually have names? According to user AJ Coed. 1098 on Reddit, a Tetris manual for the original Nintendo system version of the game shows that these blocks do in fact have names. So let's Whoa, take a look. Look at 
Yeah. Did you know? Hi. I had no idea. L block, orange Ricky. Uh-uh. Reverse <laughs> L, blue Ricky. Cleveland Z block. Okay. Rhode Island Z block. Or I had no idea. The okay, line block the is line hero. block is named hero. Which makes sense. Which yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That's really cool. I don't, I've I never heard anyone ever mention that they T had names. T-block, Tiwi. I mean, see, this is, this is actually our own fault because we should cover... Actually, this is your fault. Oh. We should cover the Tetris scene, more the Tetris esports scene, a little bit more. Are you trolling me so, right now? Maybe. Don't troll me. Uh, Don't troll me! <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. Make your argument right now for Tetris esports being covered on the show. I'm sorry, did you not see the Tetris championships? Did you not see the finale? Stop it. I will not hear any of that. Listen, I get it. I get it if there's a fan base, but esports, really? Not there yet. What? I know a lot of people are gonna be upset at me. Listen, I actually grew up playing Tetris, so like I love the game, but let's not, let's move on. Let's move on. All right, so this next post is hot fire because it's calling out professional Overwatch team at the Atlanta Reign. So this was from Caster Leg Day, and he noticed that the logo for the Atlanta Reign kind of looks familiar. Eh, let's see it. Hmm. So you see oh. there, uh, it's McMaster Esports actually. They have a logo, and then the Atlanta Reign one. Do you see? You see? Okay, and Marissa now can talk now, right? Dance space. Thank you so much for <laughs> unleashing me. Uh, yeah, it is very similar. I mean, I guess they can't get in trouble for any kind of copyright because the wings go up in a different way. We're gonna talk about copyright uh, again? That's right. <laughs> the wings go up in a different way. Uh, it's a little more stoic, the Atlanta Rainbird. Uh, but the thing is, like, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that the people behind Overwatch League, and especially the people doing the logos, because there's a whole team of people behind it, I'm, I'm certain that they've researched and they've put in the images into Google just to make sure there's no similarities or no way they're copying something else. You'd what? be surprised. People, you would be surprised how negligent some people are. They're not going to search up McMaster Esports. It probably slipped through no. the cracks. But no. like, this is unfair to McMaster. No, I feel like this is common knowledge. If you're making some kind of logo, you take that logo that you made, slip it into Google to make sure there's no other images that relate. Where's like, the, is, this, is this not this, common knowledge? This, no, of course, but that logo is like identical. Like, they barely tried to change it. It was the same color, same border. Like, okay, yeah. listen, I'm sorry to McMaster. Yeah, that's right. Esports. I don't even go there, but I'm just. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're. For them. Okay, I'm listen, for them. Lisa is now your champion. You can add her on Twitter. <laughs> What is it? At Lisa Duan. At the Lisa Duan. The Lisa Duan. She will be your new mascot. I'll Actually, come speak at the it's, event. <laughs> so it's time for our last post, and let's end it on a peaceful one. Apex Legends is the game at the moment. It's what all the cool kids are playing. I mean, so let's see what a little DIY does for us. Posted by Osmosis, he said his wife handcrafted oh this God. realistic model of a peacekeeper. Get ready to be impressed. Look at this. Look at that. That's exactly like that's exactly the same. Holy. That's really Yo, cool. Yo, his wife did this? Yeah, like... Okay, let's see what the original looks like just for comparison's sake. Oh my god. Dang! That, that was like on point, I almost couldn't tell. I know, I honestly, I'm just very impressed by crafts. Mm. Okay, now this is the second day in a row that we've had crafts on this show, and it's only day two of the show. Uh, running theme, I think that we should discuss crafts every single day. Uh, Why not? More, more crafts? Yeah, more You're crafts. I want to I wanna do craft time. Listen, okay, you guys don't know, but there's every single day what? she keeps talking about doing cosplay, doing what? crafts, wearing yeah. her wig. She literally bought like five wigs in the past okay, month. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is lies. Right, I'm gonna tell you, Lisa Dewan is lying to all of you and she can't say anything about it. I bought, whatever, I bought a couple wigs, yeah, on Amazon, because listen, it's Pokemon's fault. She tweeted, you like my hair, G, thanks, just bought it, uh, as per an Ariana Grande song, and it was an awesome blonde wig. And I'm like, you know what? I wanna buy a wig too. I wanna be just like her. Top tier influencer, okay? So I got one, looked fly AF, and so I decided to get another one, and now she's coming at me like I always have wigs. I always talk about wigs. I Rissa, talk, I, I'm gonna need it now so I can cut yeah, you off. Damn it! She's trying to save her. There's, look, there's nothing wrong with cosplay and wigs, okay? Thank you. You look fabulous. I know. I'm just saying. She's got some weird <laughs> something. No, it's not. Listen, uh, on tomorrow's episode, we will discuss cosplay in detail. Uh, no, Brody should be back tomorrow, I believe, Hopefully. unless he's too scared to come back and deal with all of this. But that is it for Unmuted for today. Thank you so much for joining me at the desk, Lisa Duan. Make sure you hit us up on all the socials at Squad State. I will see you next time.